Hi, this is Derek with Your Optic, and today we are talking about the AR-15 and the National Firearms Act. So today we're mostly looking at the barrel length parameters of the National Firearms Act, the NFA. And when we have something listed on the Your Optic website as an NFA item, this is what that means. A normal rifle like this AR-15 has a buttstock and a barrel with a minimum length of 16 inches. That leaves it out of the scope of the National Firearms Act and it's free to transfer uh, quite happily. Now you can get a rifle like an AR style with a shorter barrel, however you can get one with a stabilizing brace like this uh, Daniel Defense PDW here. Now this is not a stock per the legal definition. so. It, it's designed to have your arm go through it and hold on to the grip to make it more stable, hence stabilizing brace. There's a bunch of different types that you can get. Uh, that's the one on that Denier Defense. JP sells a nine millimeter version with this SB brace here. And uh, there are plenty more besides as far as making braces. Now that lets you have a barrel that's less than 16 inches on a rifle or pistol to be more accurate of this style. You're just not allowed to put a foregrip on it though because that's that gets you into the NFA territory as well. Um, now there are some exceptions or some other points to make on it. This, this Armalite here is a point to make. This barrel length is 13.3 but uh, this long muzzle brake here is permanently attached to the barrel. It's pinned, it's welded, and you can see the little tack weld right there. It is uh, now the legal 16 inch uh, length to be a full on rifle, not a short barreled rifle. So, what does a proper SBR look like? It looks like this Springfield here. It has a butt stock and it has a barrel which is 11.5 inches long and a non permanently affixed flash hider. Now, to get one of these things, it's a bit different than buying your standard rifle or pistol or shotgun. You have to find a, a dealer that's local to you that is licensed to handle these things. Um, commonly called a class three dealer, but the, the more accurate term is an SOT. And the process looks something like this. You make the order with us, and then we apply for a form three transfer, and that allows us to ship it from us to the dealer of your choosing. And then once that gets approved, which is a couple days, we ship it right out. When it gets to the dealer, you will need to uh, go in there and do a Form 4 to get that process started. Now what that entails is a $200 tax stamp to ATF. It requires uh, fingerprints and photographs. And once that's all submitted, they will hang on to the short barreled rifle in the meantime while ATF processes your paperwork, which can take, unfortunately, about 6 to 12 months. So definitely want to keep that in mind if you're trying to get an idea of when you want to have this firearm. And uh, when they do get it approved, you go back to your dealer, they just do a simple uh, 4473 uh, form, and then there's your short barreled rifle. Now, the uh, purpose behind all this, uh, according to the National Firearms Act, is uh, the language of it suggests any concealable rifle is going to be regulated, and technically these are the numbers that they came up with. <laughs> 